Hi guys and welcome to this week's episode of Lilicution. So if you're new, because I know we've got a lot of new subscribers from my article in Vegan Health and Fitness, the magazine. So if you're new, hi, I'm Lily and I'm really excited for you to have recently become a Veggie Voyager. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. And as you can tell by the title, today we are talking about similarities between minimalism and veganism. So I don't want to miss anything out for you guys, so I've got my notes here. So if you see me looking at that, just know what it is. So let's just jump right into it. So the first one is the common misperception of deprivation. People think, you know, vegans deprive themselves of meat and cheese and eggs. And min minimalists deprive themselves of lots of clothes and the freedom to buy as many shoes as you want. But actually, it's not deprivation. It is just being intentional with what you buy and being very specific and just picking and choosing um, what you would like to buy and what you would like to eat and consume as a person. And that's your right, I guess, to choose um, you know, what you want to put into your life. So the next time, the next thing is it saves time. For example, when you are a vegan, you go straight past the meat aisle and you know exactly what you want. You know, the basics, beans, um, veggies, you know, like some um, spices. And with minimalism, you try to not go shopping because, of course, if you go into the mall, you're like, oh, I know I have another white t-shirt, but this one's got a different cut. Or, you know, you tempt yourself. So by being a minimalist, most minimalists try to avoid the mall unless they have something specific they want to buy. So the next thing is it saves money. So... Cheese is very expensive, so obviously vegans don't eat cheese, and they, you know, they don't buy um, meat, and you know, milk can be expensive. So we just save money on what we buy, and if you buy whole foods, it's actually cheaper. And obviously, with minimalism, you're not buying all those unnecessary clothes, and therefore you're not spending that money. So the next thing is you make the best of basics. So basics: beans, veggies, spices, um, carbs. You know, you. You make the best of that, you make different mixtures with it, you use it to your best um, advantage. And with minimalism, you know, a simple white t-shirt with like boyfriend cut jeans or, you know, you know how to style things in a thousand different ways and you know how to make the best of what you have. The next is serving others. So with, um, with veganism, you're not killing animals, which, you know, is a way of serving others. And with, minimali um, with minimalism, you know, like you, most minimalists, I'm not saying for everyone, you try and not support, you know, like Forever 21, um, all the fast fashion, H&M, Gap, Zara, you av avoid those because they treat their workers badly. In case you can hear that, that is my pool um, cleaner. So if it makes a gurgling noise, just ignore it. And also the environment. Obviously, as a vegan, one hamburger is equal to, I think Peter did some research and it was 30 showers. So you're really helping the environment, especially in South Africa, we have a huge drought. We're trying to do everything we can to save water. And I feel great every time I walk past that McDonald's because I have just saved 30 showers worth of water. And obviously, clothes are so totally tolling on the environment like landfills and landfills are filled with clothes every year just wasted clothes things that people are like oh it only cost me a dollar it's fine i can just you know chuck it in the bin it's got a little scratch on it so it's really really helps the environment to skip those things okay so next we have conscious choices you know it goes without saying veganism you know you're just conscious about what you eat you're conscious about what you support, you know, cruelty-free brands even, like makeup brands. And with minimalism, you're conscious about not buying, you're conscious about supporting the right brands, the ethical brands, and sustainable brands. Okay, next we have, um, no, that looks like it's, a, it's about it. So, next time you, maybe you're not a minimalist yet, next time you're in the mall, maybe just make that little decision, no, I don't really need that thing, or you see Forever 21 and you're like, actually, I can give that a miss and rather support an ethical brand because there are so many ethical brands in the mall. I really recommend doing some research and finding out what is ethical in your very own mall. So, and also with veganism, next time your friends are like, hey, guys, what restaurant should we go to? Either 
suggest a vegan restaurant. Happy Cow's a great app to find um, a vegan restaurant near you, or just pick a vegan option on the menu. You know, you're saving a ton of water, a ton of animals, and you're just making the world a better place. So don't forget to give this video a like because it actually doesn't give me money. It just recommends the video for more to more people. Also, feel free to comment down below because you can join our comment community. The Veggie Voyagers are a very happy and welcoming family. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook if you want to see what I'm up to on a daily basis. It's all under Lillicution. L-I-L-L-Y-C-U-T-I-O-N. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet a member of the Veggie Voyagers clan. So click that red subscribe button down below or on either side of the screen, and you'll be notified every time I post. And it's free, and it's great, and I'd appreciate it so much. Live life, love life, and have a great week. Bye!